So I have had my new MacBook Pro M1 Max chip computer thing for like nine months and I have yet to film a this is how I customized my computer video and if you're a nerd like me and you like to customize your tech and make everything look pretty, this is the video for you because I'm gonna show you what I do every single time I get a new MacBook computer. And I'm choosing right now to do this video, one, because I totally forgot to do it when I first got the computer, but two, because Apple is in their season of new things. And just yesterday, they announced the new iPhone 14 and new Apple watches and all the things. And I know computers are coming down the pipeline in just a few months. So let me show you how I personally customize every last one of my computers when I get them in the mail and what I've done to my computer to make it look all pretty so that you can do. All right, so first things first, you always have to have a good wallpaper, okay? So uh, the cool thing about wallpapers is you can make them very easily. You can buy them. You can use free things on things like Canva. They're really easy to create. So if you go into Canva, you can do create a new design and you can actually search for a desktop wallpaper and you can do phone wallpapers and all of that too, but desktop wallpapers and they actually have a ton that you can use. So like this is the one that I am using currently on my desktop, if you'll see here, literally, that's all it is. And I just changed the save you a scroll text to say you are awesome and that way, or you're freaking awesome because it's more of my brand and whatever else. But like I just used a free thing from Canva to create my wallpaper, that's it. But you could customize it per month, which I think is really cool. So you can totally like add a new page and, and like use these pictures already built in, use the September calendar already built in, whatever, and have this as your background. I really like to have mood boards or dream boards or goal boards as the background of my computer too. At times, like sometimes I don't, sometimes I do, but you know. So I could use this as a template and then put in a lot of my like goals or photos that represent my goals in here and use this as my desktop background. You can also, and this is something that I have actually created a freebie for you for and given you guys in the past, so I'll make sure it's linked below too, but I have been creating these since 2010, I guess, because I used to be a desktop girl, like everything lived on my desktop. I'm much less of a desktop girl now, but everything used to live on my desktop. So you can actually use desktop organizers to organize all your apps and make it look aesthetically pleasing, but also organized if you are a desktop girl like I used to be. They have these already built in. Like I say, I have one linked for you below in the description, but this has the calendar. This one has like a Spotify place where you can just like pop a Spotify widget in here and then reminders, apps, things like that. And you just drag and drop the folders on your desktop over onto this and like it looks pretty now. So first and foremost, you've got to get you like a desktop background that is going to motivate you. It's going to make you feel good when you open the computer. It's going to feel like you because the standard one is a uh, quite ugly and we really want to make things aesthetically pleasing while also functional. At least that's my goal. So now to actually change your desktop background is really freaking easy. You just want to have whatever image you're trying to use as the background in a folder that's not going to move because if you start moving your desktop backgrounds around, then your computer is going to be like, where did it go? We can't use that anymore and it's going to default back to the old one. So I like to keep mine in like a pictures folder or in like my screenshots folder that's not going to move that I never change or I never like move around. And that way I know it's not going to move and I'm going to always have this de desktop background. So I'm just going to use like a picture I already randomly have on my computer and I'm just going to use this screenshot, but you just right click it. I would not recommend putting it or leaving it in your downloads folder because you're, it's going to get lost, but I would right click it and then just do set desktop picture. And then now my desktop picture is my information for a launch I just had. Uh, obviously not what I want, but you get the point. You just, you just right click it and set it as a desktop picture. The next thing you really want to do when you're customizing your MacBook or the next thing I, I do is set my screensaver. Now, by the way, while I'm in the screensaver settings, you can go right here and actually add the custom picture here and that can be your desktop, but you don't have to, you can do it the way I just did it too. But 
this is just in your settings and then desktop and screensaver and I go to screensaver and you can literally just tell it to do whatever you want. I actually really love this hello one. You can download screensavers though. Um, these are absolutely things that you can do and you can also add the clock to all of the screensavers that are on here. And actually, if you go into the App Store on your Mac, you can just type in screensaver and there are other ones that you can purchase or download for free, like this clock app or whatever. But just set a pretty screensaver so it's not like something ugly. Also, I do not like for it to roll through my pictures and I feel like that's the, um, the default. And I don't like that because my pictures are weird, y'all. Like they, they alternate from things from like my kids to me screenshotting something weird that I wanted to send to somebody to like a weird selfie that I was trying to get or whatever. And so I don't like my pictures scrolling across my screen. But if you like to do that, then you can totally do that. But set your screensaver, make it pretty, make it feel like you so that your computer feels like something you wanna use. Okay, so to talk about this next little part of customization, I just changed my desktop background to my desktop organizer that I gave y'all. And by the way, you can see over here that I am not very organized right now. Actually, all of this crap can go in the trash anyway. And uh, yeah, I am not normally someone who leaves stuff on my desktop anymore, but this is what I would do if I was. I am much more of someone who keeps everything like buttoned up and I just have to go into my finder to find my folders. But if I wasn't, here's what I would do. I would create folders to go under each of these categories like personal, um, my pictures, uh, then maybe we'll do a folder for workouts. I don't know, we're just randomly doing things. Or if you were in school or something, you could do like different classes, right? And so I would create all these like custom folders and I would have work folders here. So like social media, YouTube, whatever, right? And I would fill this up and make it all pretty, but then I would go in and customize the folder icons to match my desktop background. Yes, I would. So you'll notice on this little desktop background that we have hearts, we have moons, we have stars, and uh, that seems like it. So I'm going to go grab some hearts and moons and stars out of Canva and see what we can do here. So what I did was I just went into Canva, I created just square graphics with white backgrounds, and I added the things that I would want, and then I'm gonna download them, but I'm gonna make sure when I download them, they have a transparent background because then my folders just kind of blend in with my desktop background and they look all pretty. So we're gonna let that download and then I'll show you how to change the icons for your folders in just a second. So if once you have your images downloaded, if you want to change what your icon folder looks like, just right click on the folder and do get info, okay? So right click get info and then you go and you open up the image you're trying to do in Finder. So for this, it's just like a cluster of hearts. So I'm gonna select all. So I did command A, select all, and I'm gonna do command C, which is copy. And then you click on that little folder there and you command V while it's clicked on, okay? And now when I go back here, that folder is just a bunch of hearts. Now, obviously that is not my most like best thing to do because you can barely see it, but you get the gist. Okay, next thing's next. Do you wanna go into your general settings and you wanna change all your colors around so it's not the boring like blue or black that it starts with. I always do like pink or orange because it's fun, um, but you can change your accent color. You can change the appearance, like whether it's always in light mode, always in dark mode, always in auto. So when it's dark, it's dark and when it's light, it's light. Um, I like to leave mine in light mode. I am not a dark mode user. I know a lot of people are, I am not. But then accent color, you can do like multicolor. I don't know why I just changed my backdrop. Just ignore that. You can do multicolor, you can do uh, orange, you can do yellow, like whatever. And I like to do, like I say, either pink or orange. And then you can change your sidebar size. So things are large, things are medium, whatever. And you can change all of these settings down here. But aesthetically, I like to change the accent color and make sure it's always on light mode. Then I like to take advantage of stickies. So stickies are built in to every Mac. So you just go to your launch pad and then on mine, it's under other, but if you don't have a ton of things on yours, it may be out by itself, but then you just do stickies. And when you click it, they pop up here. Now these are just two random sticky notes, um, but you can change the color of them. So you can just go like, you know, color, pink, whatever. And then you can change the size. So I could like put it anywhere on my desktop and use it as a way to take notes or whatever. So if I just wanted to like cover up 
what was there, I could replace it with a sticky note and that way I can make notes. So it's like, okay, this month's projects, launch, new course, do other thing, <laughs> do the thing, uh, film videos, right? So I can use that and they constantly stay there until I quit out of stickies or, you know, obviously change them around. But this is a great way to make your desktop kind of interactive and help you like place notes where you need to place them if that's something that you struggle with. Okay, so next and last is to customize the widgets. So on the new MacBooks and in the new operating systems, you can have widgets on your MacBook now. And to activate them, you just click the time and date at the top and they'll come up. You can actually edit these and add them. And so if you scroll down to the bottom of your widgets, you can hit edit widgets and then it will let you edit whatever you wanna edit. So I don't want that on there, I don't want that on there, I don't want that on there. I want that, but that is not the right location for me, but we're gonna leave it anyway. I like to have a calendar on here, and you can also go in the app store and add new widgets. Like you can find an app that'll let you add new widgets that aren't built in. So here's like the color widgets app, and I can like decide what I want this to look like. Like this is what I like my things to look like, right? Then they'll be there when I go in the widgets thing to add. So like that's one widget I added. I'm gonna add another. I have this widget on my phone and I love it because it syncs to my Google Calendar and it has the calendar on the right and then the things for today and tomorrow on the left. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that one and make sure that it works. But you can go through here and find like quotes and whatever else and do some color widgets. So when you're on your widgets and you hit edit widgets, you can go over here on the left hand side and do color widgets and add whatever one you want and you can make it medium or large or whatever. So then you can edit the widget straight from there and you, and you can make all the customizations you need to to it. So if I want it to be like pink oh no that's not it or blue or whatever i can and then that widget will look like that when i go back over here when i save everything so i like to customize my widgets and make like widgets that are useful for me i don't really care about like what time it is anywhere else other than where i'm at um, and so i usually delete that i have a calendar i have weather and then sometimes I'll even add like sticky notes here. So I can go into my notes app and find like a specific folder that I wanna feature or a specific note that I wanna feature. So let's just do a folder here and we're gonna do the folder of my content ideas and hit done. And that way it's really easy for me to access my content ideas. So yes, I keep up with content ideas elsewhere, but I often will like in a hurry, quickly put them in Apple Notes. And so there's a whole list of content ideas that I can feature right here in my widgets. So if I quickly wanna grab them, I just click it and there it is. So you can play around with your widgets. Everybody is different there. I don't keep a ton of things in my widgets cause I don't really toggle them on very often, but they're there if you want them. All right, this video is already entirely too long, so I think I'm done. But if you wanna see other MacBook customizations or even like iPhone customizations or whatever, because you better believe that your girl is ordering the new iPhone 14 as soon as I can, which when you're viewing this is either today or tomorrow, uh, cause I don't know when I'm getting this video up, but iPhone customizations or whatever else, let me know in the comments below and I'd love to see what y'all do. So tag me on Instagram if you take advantage of any of the things that I talked about and I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all.